Okay, so where's the creep? Oh. So now we gotta do... You know what? Fuck it. Let's go down the list. Okay, sure. Atsuki. <laughs> Is that... Um... Well, it's about... T it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me, princess. It's not like it. It's not like I said it was bad. I just, I just didn't. It just didn't invoke any emotions. So <laughs> basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? It is Maybe. a fetish. I'll pass. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Oh, I can't wait to read this one. Oh, I'll do it because we, we'll bully a tree a poem, I guess. Not that you'll like it. All right? Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Well, it's. Who came up with this shit? Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah. I understand. Is that puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up um, for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. Okay, now you're being overconfident. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if oh, Mitsuki is feeling that's proud, bullshit. then I won't take it away from her. Bullshit. Alright, Yuri's next. This ought to be interesting. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I'm guessing it might... Is that it might be after we... Reading through it, though. Ah, so it's that bad. No! Did I did I just face my voice? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. No, so, sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. 
I think the most notable thing I recognize in New Rights is that they try to make the, the style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style all separate from the topic matter, and then the, they form fit the two together. The end result is that both style, styles and the expressiveness are weakened. Once you already find your train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering complete, is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, it's not nothing you can't aim people aim for. There are so many different po and skills and techniques that go into writing an even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but on getting to them to work together is probably the most challenging part. I might take it might take you some time, but it's. It all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope you, that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. This should keep me a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um. Well. Never mind. I shouldn't be ta talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thoughts on the process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate behind the meet the amber glow bathing. It must it must be this one. The last remaining street light, light to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green hue of the future. I bathe, calm calm calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickens. I flicker back. Okay. Just outside. I'm sorry, I have such a terrible handwriting. Well, I could read it. What? I wasn't thinking about that at all. Oh, it took you a long time to read. No, I didn't. Uh. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Huh? Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. Hey, but I lo babe, just, uh, bit, little things come in small, uh, big things come in small packages. Uh, in other words, I'm saying I'm terrible. Yeah. I usually write longer poems. I usually write longer poems. <laughs> Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. That was mild? Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you in the ghost theory? Uh -huh. Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, Shin. Um, where's this going? Really? You must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But I remember that poet, it's often expressed their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more to tell a, sto a more story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the g a poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her pa her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be too... You long before you pick up on these things too. 
Yeah. Maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Well, there's only one person left. Yep, that's Monica. Hey, sh hey, Shin. Having good a time so far? Uh, yeah. Glad, good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new to and everything, if you ever uh, ha have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Shun. We all we, we're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's just it's that sort of bit of barrier that we'll have to learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Mon Monika my poem. Mm. Mm. I like this one. Makes me think of something Sayori would like. Hmm. Is that so? You and Sayori are good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had had these sorts of things in common. Oh well. We may be good friends, but Sari and I are actually really different. Hmm? Well, you see, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a guy and she's a girl. That's definitely different. Gasp. <laughs> well, that, oh, that may be the case. But maybe there's also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you were really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? I could be. Damn it, not the pose again! Oh gosh, I just sound like Yuri. But anyway, Sayori's writing has got a very gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions and happiness and sadness. Who, who, knew, who knew that someone so happy and, and enjoys sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid of you to experiment a little, a little, a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. <laughs> I can't do straight. That's things. okay. I I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind and the style that suits you. Man, we have such dirty minds. <laughs> Everyone else, else might might be a little bit biased towards their, their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help if you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself up to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you, like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Yes. Don't worry, I'm not very good. Can't be bad. I'm pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. Doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hold on, Walt. Couldn't have been me. See, the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. And what? 
I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retina is always already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright, but it, it was too deep, stretching from forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. That's probably the better poem out of all of them, to be honest. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very... Free form, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Same with me, I'm not really good at asking feedback. It's okay. Yeah, the kind of stuff... <laughs> Yeah, the kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting an emphasis on timing between words and lines. And performed out loud, it can be, be really powerful. What was the impre- What was the impression behind this? Or the inspiration behind this one? Uh... Well, I'm not sure if, if I know how to put it. I guess you'd say that I had some kind of... Epiphany. Epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yes, yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about uh, deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway. Here's Marco's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're when writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a, specific, on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a, a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and we'll go with the flow. That's my advice for you today. Thanks for listening. Okay. Whew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing ability. Yeah. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. Yeah. This, is a, this is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monika are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrow furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? And what's with this language? Yeah. Uh. It's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah. Uh. Thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up! <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant... The language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Yeah! Please don't get that close to me. Okay. Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um. Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Shin did, too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. 
First of all... Excuse me? I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect to pick it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. It shouldn't like he even told me he was impressed by it. Uh no. The Dookie suddenly stands up. Oh I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh oh. Huh? That's not what I um stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that she appreciated my advice more than he appreciated yours. Oh drag me into this! <laughs> girl fight, girl fight. Fight, huh? fight, fight, fight. No, fight, fight. Beat her ass, beat her ass. Huh? And how did you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full yourself? Oopsies. I no. I was just if I was, I was, if I was full of myself, I would have deliberately go out of the, my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. And now I imagine pink elephants are uh, marching around as this music's going. Yep. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like pink dumb? elephants on parade? Yeah. yeah. Um. Is everyone okay? Well, you know what. I wasn't the one whose booze magic revolved! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Wow! Oh no! Natsuki! Uh, uh, Natsuki, that's a little. This, this doesn't, doesn't involve you. you! I like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turn towards me, <laughs> as if they just noticed I was standing there. Shun. She, she's trying to make me look bad. Oh god, here we go again. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Oh, dude, what's the to point? Me. What's the the meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have it figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Shun. Wait. Wait. There's a reason and we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the mo most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right? Oh, don't do this to me! Um, well? well? Oh, no. <laughs> I can't get myself dragged into this in the first place. It's not like I know anything about writing. That's You're kind of in a situation where if someone was saying, uh, who are you voting for, Clinton, Trump? I vote for the Green Party! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! No, it's like voting between waterboarding and electroshock torture. Whomever I brew with, they'll probably think I'm more, more highly, highly of me. <laughs> Help me, Sayori! Help me, Sayori! <laughs> Natsuki. Natsuki glares at me, drying up. drying up any words I have in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri? Mm. But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Uh, Sayori! Eh? Yeah! Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can you, the two of you, keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Fend? Shun. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings. Exactly. When did this suddenly become a philosophy class? More like a literature, no, literature class. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck up jerk she's being. I thought she was going to say stuck up bitch. I would never. No, she, she, she would never. 
It's, it's your maturity that made her upset in the first place. Oh, here we go again. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why... Exactly why nobody likes... Oh, so upset! Stop! Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. I love them because of their differences. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, gee, oh, gee, oh shit. That, that, that's... Uh -huh. Foreshadow, foreshadow. No, no, it's not that. It's just... I'm... I'm just thinking how that does not at all apply to human nature. Natsuki's poems. They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? B because... Well... Also... Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong... Stop calling her cute. You know that's not gonna work. And you're. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow! Okay. There's <laughs> actually the one. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, game. Big and beautiful. You know that's gonna upset Natsuki, right? Uh. Mm. Sayori? Sayori stands triumphantly. Monika stands behind her with a bewitched yeah, expression. <laughs> uh, I'll make some tea. <laughs> she rushes Yuri, off. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So... So, uh, this is why Sayori is vice uh, president. I whispered to Monika. She nods in return. To, to be honest, she might come off as a good leader. Come off as a good leader. I, might, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. And, as president, and it's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that's it. This means Sayori is amazing in her own way, isn't it? Is she? You could say that. She might she, be in she, air. She might be in their head, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Stop with the bones! <laughs> I t take care of her, okay? I would hate to see her, her get herself hurt. That there is two of us. You can count on me. Monika smiles sweetly at me, Cousins. causing my stomach to not. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk with her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's about time for us to leave. That was it. How did, did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. And how did you? How about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk to about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Oh, God. Here we go. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So are we making this a long play, or... Uh, we're probably gonna... Oh, okay, we're gonna... Yeah, we're probably gonna stop. Like, seriously. Like, so, are your poems will turn out even better? Uh, I think to myself, Why not wind up for the world? <laughs> I had to. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. Did we? I mean, well, yeah. 
If I luck, this means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. Well, and if the mouse doesn't give a shit. Yeah. I'm not to myself with newfound determination. Shin! Ready to walk home? Sure. Let's go. Hee <laughs> hee. Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I had spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori? About what happened earlier. Uh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. It's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Shin... It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. I think everyone really likes you too. Th that's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> Situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I say that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this! Here now, uh, do, do you want to... Let's save. It's... Yeah. So there's a second, second one. Yes. Uh. Yes. Oh. No. Oh. Okay, now it's. Weird. Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, well, on that note, I'm that. Tour Animator! I'm. He's the Dr. Wombology. I'm Dr. Wombology. Oh, okay, okay no, good. That's it. Okay, that was weird. Okay, so... Uh, Dr. Wombology. Dr. Wombology. Next MDM. Friendly Neighborhood Chuddens. Signing off. Have a good one. Okay.